While watching Ant-Man in the cinemas for about the third time, being an obvious fan of course, I thought I saw something while Scott Lang was travelling through the quantum realm. And in fact, that something resembles Wasp. Let's talk about that. Marvelite style. Hey everyone, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Bad guy. The Rhino. But go ahead, just call me Ryan. Wow, this video is three weeks late. Exams. If you watched Mr. Sinister's solo video about Ant-Man theories, which you should have, you'll know what I'll be doing. But if you haven't, after this, feel free to watch it right after. I will, as said in the title, be doing a video all on the Wasp, but mainly the bit where Scott Lang enters the quantum realm. This video includes some spoilers for Ant-Man, because on the rare occasion that we haven't watched it, what are you doing here? Watch it as soon as possible. But anyway, take a look at the scene right here. You see anything? I'll slow it down. Now see it? I'll completely stop it. You see the shadow? I'll show you some pictures. That is almost definitely wasp. Look. Wings, arms, mask, everything. As Hank Pym said, Do it enter a reality. Can the relevant. Can the relevant. Time and space become irrelevant in the quantum realm. She could have arrived five seconds to five centuries from when Scott did, and she could be an arm's length away or a football field away. It's like if you make a handprint in a cloud, it'll normally fade away, but here, it won't, ever. What could this mean? Janet Van Dyne is still alive? She can't starve, can she? Well, remember when Scott was trying to explain the quantum realm to Hank and Hope near the end of the movie, and he tells them how he came out? Hank just sits there for a bit, just thinking. With two of Hank's enlargement discs and some good search equipment, he might actually find her. Well, what about the new wasp suit though? Will there be two wasps then? Well, if Hank does find Janet, and on that case, what's the future for Hope Van Dyne's wasp? I know she has her own movie with Ant-Man in Phase 3, I said in another of Alex's videos. She most likely isn't in Civil War though. In the comics, Hope Pym was only alive in an alternate universe, Earth 982 to be exact, and she was known as the villain Red Queen. She was in the team called the Revengers. Maybe she could update her new costume to look a little like that, or keep it and just become bad like the comics. I doubt so though. How about we march down to that crazy comment section and talk about all of this. We love hearing your thoughts, and especially what we should do next. And as always, leave a like on the video, especially if you like the video, because then we know that you know that we know you like the video. If you want to watch Alex's Ant-Man Theory video, click right here. Or if you want to watch my latest video, click here. 
and don't forget to click that splum marvelous subscribe button hopefully well i just ran out of ideas see you soon oh yeah nearly forgot it's time for this week's guess who last time we showed you this big fella unfortunately no one guessed him the answers were Beast Head, Iron Man Chest Piece, Wolverine Left Hand, and Red Hulk, everything else. Now, I've got a new challenge for you guys to guess. Here he is. Good luck and see you on the next one.